And uh, Dr. Montana is the director of the BC Centre for HIV AIDS, uh, the Centre for Excellence. In that capacity, he's been responsible for spearheading tremendous advances in the care, treatment and prevention of HIV and AIDS, helping British Columbia become the only province where HIV infections, new HIV infections, are consistently declining. But even before that, as the head of St. Paul's AIDS Clinic, he was making a remarkable impact on the field of HIV AIDS research and care. Dr. Montana uh, pioneered the work on highly active antiretroviral therapy drug cocktail known as HEART, which now has become an international standard of care. And as a result, those living with HIV AIDS are now able to enjoy longer, healthier lives. HEART reduces the HIV virus in blood to virtually undetectable levels. It prevents the progression of the disease, adding an estimated five and a half decades of healthier life. That's stunning when you think about it. But it also significantly reduces the chances of HIV transmission. HEART was used as the basis for British Columbia's highly successful treatment as prevention strategy, a strategy which has now been adopted by countries around the world, including France, Spain, Brazil, Argentina, the United States, and China. This Made in BC innovation has decreased HIV AIDS related morbidity and mortality by more than 95% and new infections by more than 66%. That is indeed a remarkable achievement and one that has made a difference in the lives of many British Columbians living with HIV AIDS and their loved ones of course. But that's not all. There's also emerging new data from the BC Centre of Excellence that this strategy is also having a positive impact on the financial bottom line, helping to improve the sustainability of our healthcare system. By 2017, the Centre predicts that the Treatment as Prevention campaign in BC will result in lower annual medical expenditures for treating people with HIV and AIDS, and uh, by 2035, that cumulative savings could reach up to $48 million. So not only is it uh, the right thing to do, uh, but it is uh, a, saver, a savings for taxpayers as well. So it's not surprising that this strategy developed here in BC is influencing the international community. In September 2014, the United Nations launched its 1990 treatment target, which has a goal of ending the AIDS epidemic worldwide by 2030. This goal is modeled on our Made in BC treatment as prevention strategy and would not have been possible, of course, without Dr. Montana. Today, I will presenting Dr. Montana with a certificate of recognition, one that will join countless other accolades and awards that he has already received, including the Order of British Columbia and the Albert Einstein World Award of Science, and recently uh, announced that he will be inducted into the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame. You know, in just a few short days on December 1st, we will mark World AIDS Day, a day that's more about simply raising awareness in HIV and AIDS. It's a time for the world to unite uh, against the ongoing uh, disease of HIV AIDS. As we join together in this fight, British Columbians can be particularly proud of the BC Centre for Excellence and extremely proud of Dr. Julio Montana. So I would like now, and it gives me great honour, to officially present the Certificate of Recognition on behalf of all British Columbians to a great British Columbian, Dr. Julio Montana. I received a call about a week ago, uh, and uh, I was tricked into coming to uh, uh, Victoria. Uh, the, um, the plan was to celebrate International AIDS Day uh, and the contributions that the province has made to the fight against HIV and AIDS. Um, I only learned very recently that, that uh, they were turning the, um, uh, the agenda around, and I was going to end up being the recipient of the award. And I. Um, uh, it was something that I uh, did not expect. Um, I'm, I cannot tell you how uh, gratified I am uh, for the success of the work that we've done together. Um, uh, I uh, spent a lot of time, uh, Andy will remember, uh, uh, dealing with HIV when HIV was a death sentence. Uh, and not just a death sentence, but a very quick and, and, and very sad um, turn of events. Uh, people uh, were suffering tremendously. 
And, um, and we had the blessing of uh, being able to contribute to the discovery of the triple therapy cocktail in 1996. We had the blessing of being able to bring it to the world in Vancouver at the International AIDS Conference. Uh, and then we had the blessing of, of, of discovering the fact that the treatment could prevent transmission and therefore uh, turn the whole uh, strategy uh, on its head and, uh, and basically uh, um, virtually put BC in the path towards disease elimination. Uh, as we approach December 1st, uh, I'd like to invite you to reflect on all of the lives that we lost, all of the friends and, and families that have been affected, um, but at the same time, uh, rejoice on the, on the notion uh, that we have actually learned tremendous uh, amount of information that we can apply, not just to HIV and AIDS, which is what we're doing, but actually to other diseases. And, and I am convinced that the um, an opportunistic approach of expanding treatment as prevention to other uh, contagious diseases, infectious and non-infectious. It could be hepatitis, it could be TB, but it could also be uh, diseases of addiction, uh, whether it's smoking or hard drugs, um, can, can have this unique benefit of addressing the disease for the individual that is affected, but also serving as a means to preventing the spread of that disease, either through a pathogen or behavioral elements uh, to other members of society. And so treatment as prevention used in an opportunistic and targeted approach can lead to disease elimination. Uh, and as a result of that, it can actually uh, contribute tremendously to the healthcare sustainability, which is something that we are all struggling with. So on this day, um, I'd like to uh, uh, take a moment to reflect on the success of our strategy, but also uh, look forward and uh, how we can uh, move these lessons further uh, to protect uh, this incredible and precious commodity that we have, which is our healthcare system. Uh, on that note, uh, thank you, Minister. Uh, my thanks and my gratitude to the Premier as well, uh, which I, I know uh, was trying to make it here, but uh, unfortunately, because of the weather, couldn't make it. And uh, again, my commitment to continue to do this work with you. Thank you.